I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets You're keeping these promises Strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I'm like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad So what I'm going to do and why I'm doing this is uh, to make them more ripe, okay? So I'm going to put them in the oven for 300 degrees. Yeah, guys, our bananas in the oven, okay? Now I'm using one cup of butter. It's um, two sticks and I'm using the same butter, Lactensia, the best one. Now I'm going to take my butter with the honey. I'm going to use a little bit of honey for this recipe. Okay, I'm putting on the stove our butter so it has to melt. Our butter is melting and I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of honey guys, okay? So now we're all mixing in. Now I took the butter off the stove and now it has to cool. It has to be on a cool side, okay? So that's perfect. Okay, this is our butter. So now, this is your butter, melted butter. You put it in the bowl. And what I'm doing now, I'm using, so, half cup of the sugar. Okay, half cup of the sugar, white sugar. And this one is, and also I'm using one and half cup of brown sugar. So one and half cup of brown sugar and half cup of the white sugar, castor sugar. Okay, so you put all this inside. Now you have to mix it. So you mix in your butter. Our bananas are ready, and now we are going to open them up. So that's how they look. It took them 15 minutes, okay? It's 300 degrees, 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes, depends on your oven. So that's how they look like. Guys, our bananas, you can see been mashed and I put a little bit of vanilla, okay? In the bananas. See how beautiful it is? Okay, guys, now what we're going to do now. So I'm going to use one cup of yogurt, okay? That will give extra moisture to your banana bread. Banana bread. And this is a little bit of kefir. If you don't have it, that's fine. So why I'm doing this? Because I'm going to use some baking soda. I'm going to use one teaspoon of baking soda. And the reason is I'm going to put baking soda in a kefir or a yogurt. Because I don't like sometimes in a baking product that it smells like a baking soda, I don't like that. So that's why I'm putting it in the kefir and uh, or you can put in the yogurt, either way. And I'm going to mix it like this, okay? Because if you put your baking soda in the kefir, I want you to see. See those bubbles? It means it's working. One teaspoon of baking powder. Baking soda, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. You need to put a little bit of salt. Okay? Like this, like one I would say one third of the teaspoon the salt and you mix everything okay usually they put baking soda in the flour i don't like that because sometimes as i said it smells right and um, that's what it's better okay so this is your yogurt one cup of yogurt Okay, guys, now we're using eggs, okay? We're going to put one egg in a time. One egg, and you mix it. Don't put two at once. You mix it. So mix it well. Okay. Now we're going to put another egg. 
and then mix again. You have to mix it well before you introduce the last one, okay? Okay, now we are going to put another one. All your ingredients has to be well combined. Now it's time to put spices. So what do I use? So I'm using nutmeg. So one teaspoon of nutmeg. And uh, one teaspoon of gloves. It's cloth. Like this. Okay, I think I should put a little bit more. Interesting, we are going to put banana extract, okay? See guys, banana extract, just um, two teaspoons, one, two, two teaspoons. And what else we are going to put? And we are going to put cinnamon, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Big one, see, like this. guys now we're introducing bananas okay look we're going to put bananas in our mixture so the secret for your banana cake to come out come out perfect so what we do we use flour but we're going to use cake flour it's big difference when you use using your cake flour you will get a better result now it's time to put flour, okay? I use, uh, it depends, sometimes I see it's uh, from two and a half cup up to three cup, okay? So, and also I'm going to put one cup of walnuts, okay? So, okay, one cup of flour goes in, and now look what I'm going to show you. So one cup for now, and I'm going to put my walnuts, one cup of walnuts in the flour they have to be kind of coated with the flour otherwise if you don't do that they will go all the way down in the bottom of your banana bread okay. so as i said two and a half to three cups okay but we will see how much we need i will show how it's supposed to be okay So now what's really important with your banana bread, do not over mix, do not over mix. You do it slowly, gently. Okay guys, so we used three cups of flour, okay? Three cups of flour. And I want to remind you, so when you mix your flour very gently, remember that word gently, don't mix it, don't over mix. That's the secret to your banana bread. Now. This is your banana, um, so this is the pan we would use for banana bread. So what I did, I put a little bit of oil only at the bottom, see? You don't put on the sides because you, it will prevent your banana bread will go up, raise up. Don't do that, only bottom. Now, I got this thing, it's beautiful, so in case if you need to give somebody a present, your banana bread, it's beautiful. So what you do, you buy this at any stores. I bought this at HomeSense, they're beautiful. See? I'll never tell. Yeah, I like you, that's for sure. Never have to close the door. Been a long time, a year before. And I'm missing you so bad. Gone away, a month or more. Every show. Hey guys, so now it's in your pan, look. It's ready. Now, what I'm going to do on the top, I like to put a little bit of brown sugar, okay? A little bit of brown sugar. So it will give beautiful and nice crust on the top. And now it goes 350 degree for about an hour, 50 to 60 minutes. And 
you have to keep looking because as I said, all of us have different um, oven. So keep looking and um, if you see it's it, like the top is getting a little bit like browny, you don't want to burn that. So just put something like, um, put like a foil paper on the top later. When you see it's kind, of, it's kind of getting brown and it's not the time yet. So put like foil paper on the top, okay? So that goes to the oven and I will see you in a 60 minutes. See you later. Hey guys, here we go. This is your banana bread. Look how beautiful it is. I just took it out of the oven. The little one, you remember we did, and the big one, look how beautiful. So you see it's um, golden brown color on the top. And you remember we put them a brown sugar on the top so it takes sometimes 65 minutes to an hour 15 minutes depends it takes sometimes longer if you carve it with the foil paper and uh, look at this the little one so in case you remember how i said in case if you have to give somebody as a present so what you do then you can put like this beautifully like you can make a bowl right like this and then you can give somebody as a present. It's a beautiful present. Like this. See? See how beautiful? You can give your banana bread someone as a present. Is it not nice? Guys, our banana bread is ready. I cut it and look how beautiful it is. I just want to show you. It's very moist. Look. This is my coffee. This is my banana bread. I want you to see how soft it is, how moist it is. Look, it's, look, I want to show you. Look at this. Mm. It's so moist. I feel the cinnamon, nutmeg, bananas. Absolutely delicious and that beautiful crust from brown sugar so delicious when you have my coffee. So good. Guys, you have to try. This is absolutely amazing recipe. Absolutely. There is so many recipes for banana bread, but this one it's top of the world. See you next time on my cooking shows. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Promise is strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad Gone away, a month or more Every show I go before I need to hear that voice Cause right now I feel like it's been too long